Welcome to the module on data wrangling. Before we proceed, let us look at a conversation between two colleagues. So now you can see that even a seasoned data scientist is facing a challenge while cleaning the data and with the data quality. So in this video, you will learn about what is data wrangling and different techniques under data wrangling. In reality, when we want to develop reports or dashboards or even build machine learning models, most of the time we'll be starting with the raw data. The raw data is usually stored in the form of database tables or flat files. We read the raw data using various tools to either visualize or build models. The structure in which visualization or model building tools need the data to perform any operation will be different from the structure in which the raw data is stored. The process or the steps that are used to convert the raw data from its original structure to the structure that is expected by these tools is called as data wrangling. There are multiple data wrangling techniques that are widely used depending on the requirements we might use one or multiple of these techniques. Most of the real-time data will be having missing values. But many machine learning algorithms do not take data with missing values. We need to treat these missing values properly before we build any machine learning model. Next comes the text data cleaning. If our data contains any text column, especially the data that comes from social media platforms or scraped from websites or data that is manually entered through web forms, it will have a lot of text columns with informal language. These informal texts might be easy for humans to read and understand, but it is very difficult for computers and algorithms to interpret. These text data fields require a lot of cleaning. Apart from these, there are many broad data quality issues you will encounter while cleaning the data. The next data wrangling operation, which very often that we will be using, is summarization. Let's say a company CEO wants to identify the top five cities in which sales went down for the last three years consecutively. To calculate this information, one has to hit the sales database table, which will have sales values from different cities. And these tables will have day-wise sales across the city. But what we need is yearly sales. So we need to convert the data from one granularity, that is from day-wise to another granularity, that is to year-wise. This process is called data summarization. Another kind of data wrangling operation is called as reshaping. Usually, data will be stored in a long format that is more rows and fewer columns. But this is not a human readable format. To make data readable, we need to reshape them into a wide format. This process is called reshaping or pivoting. At times, data could be coming from multiple sources and each of these data would be in different granularity. We might have to join them together before we process them. Thank you for joining us in this video. See you in the next one.